Hi guys, Ed here. I'm in my little camp in the woods. Um, it's been really tough the past few weeks. You know, we've had had a lot going on. I can't really speak to it, but it's been tough. I haven't been able to sleep. And I thought coming out here and getting a change of scenery might help. It certainly won't hurt to give my wife a little break so she can sleep at night. Um, it's pretty pretty nice here inside the camp. It's 40 degrees outside. Pretty cold. Um, I've got my little heater going. I don't know if you can see it. And here's the inside of the camp. And it's it's a nice little camp. It's just a little storage shed um, that I I fixed up. It's been here for almost a year now. Oh, a year for sure now. And it's in really good shape. It's wintered well last winter. I slept in it many times during the winter. Um, I'm excited. I'm glad to, to be out here. The heater's on low, and it'll probably just keep a moderate temperature here so I don't have to freeze. Um, I'm really concerned, just like you are, about where our country's going and everything that's happening. You know, uh, people, people have gone so far away from the values and traditions that we all grew up with. And that really, really did make people want to act in a way that was healthy. Um, they were, you know, things like, you know, I hate to say it, but just common decency. Opening the door for a woman. Um, you know, that, that's con probably considered a terrible act right uh, now, but I, st I still would do it. I still do do it. Uh, <laughs> you know, working hard and actually believing that you should earn the money that you work for, you know, I, I just don't think people have the, those values anymore. You know, the belief that no one owes you anything and that you should earn what you get and you should work hard for it and be proud of the work you did is, is thrown away. People just don't. And there's so much, so much heartbreak in the world. There's so many drugs. You know, there's so much pain and suffering in this world now compared to where we were and you know people when I was young people were beginning to say we don't need God we can do it on our own well you know what how well did that work out for you it didn't work out that well you know you didn't do that well on your own Look at the look at the the people around you. Look at the pain in their eyes. You know their suffering, their heartbreak, their drug use, their alcohol use. You know, kids just being neglected and and left alone and not taken care of. Parents that care more about themselves and their lives than they do about their kids and then you hear them say well you got to take care of yourself you got to heal yourself before you can heal bull crap you got kids you take care of your kids first you go without you do what you have to do for them because they didn't ask to be born and they're here and you have a responsibility if you have to go hungry go hungry Time to grow up, people. You know, if our country would simply slow down, 
go back to the old ways. Look each other in the eye when they talk. Shake hands when you make a deal. And then do what you shake hands about. You know. We would. We would have a country that we could be proud of. We would have a country that would grow. And we would have room for everybody. You wouldn't have to worry about immigration or any of the other stuff. Because we would have such a firm rock and foundation that we were built on that it wouldn't matter. Now this is a rant. I don't know how much it means, but I know that what I'm saying is true. And, you know, nowadays people manufacture things, causes, like CRT, critical race theory. That's a manufactured cause. You know, you got a bunch of white people that invented it, and that now they're trying to get black people to accept it as the, the next civil rights movement. It's a lie. It's fake. They all know it's fake. All the black people know it's fake too. And I know it's fake. It's just, it's just a bad joke. And it needs to end. And it will end. It will fade. It, it will not succeed. Um, woke. Being woke. That's terrible, it's stupid, and it's ignorant. Just be yourself. And how many genders are there? There's an X chrom chromosome and a Y chromosome. There's no X and Y chromosome. There's no X minus chromosome. There's no Y plus chromosome. It's just X and Y. You figure it out. Well... I think I'm going to turn in, maybe find a YouTube video to watch. I encourage you all to think about the Lord. Get, get in your Bible. Read the Gospel of John. You know, then read Romans. And then make a commitment to come back to the Lord. And when you come back to the Lord, make a commitment to... To lead your country back to the Lord as well. This is Ed. I love you all. Over and out.